Hi, I'm AJ and thanks for taking the time to check out this video. If you're not a current subscriber, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below, hit that like button and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I create a video. Now this is part two of the is cryptocurrency really investing conversation. So in part two, we're going to discuss what is investing. Now according to the dictionary definition of investing, investing is the act of allocating funds to an asset or committing capital to an endeavor a business project real estate etc with the expectation of generating an income or profit so when you're investing in the traditional sense we're going to talk about using money to invest uh, traditionally what people think about is trading stocks or putting money into a business or into a building to have real estate whether that's uh, commercial or residential and over time they expect the value of that property or that business or that company to increase over time. And so you put your money, your agreed upon medium of exchange in the US, which is the dollar, uh, you put those dollars into stocks and over the course of a year or five years or 10 years, your expectation is this company, this building or this business is gonna increase in value. And so those products increase in value, the money doesn't increase in value. So $100 for the most part, if you take away inflation, which is a small adjustment in the way money uh, devalues over time, you don't expect $100 to become $200 in the next year or the next five years, but you would expect the value of the company that you're investing your money in to increase in value. And that could be, it could double or it could triple or it could go up by you know 20% or 50%. That is the thing that is actually generating the value. Your money is not increasing. The value of the asset that you put your money in, that is what is increasing. And once you decide that you want to sell either that property or that stock or that business, then you receive money back and agreed upon medium of exchange, you receive that dollar back to yourself. So if investing, no one really invests in money specifically. Now you can trade money through Forex, you know, that's trading the value differences of the dollar versus another currency, which could be the Euro or the Yen or the Chinese Yuan. Uh, you can trade those currencies and basically make money off of the fluctuations in the agreed upon value between the different types of currencies. Now that's not investing because you don't expect to put a hundred dollars in euros and five years or 10 years from now, you're not expecting the value of that euro to now be $200. So if you are interested in investing, investing in stocks, real estate, or even your own business or your own little side hustle, that would be investing. And we'll get into why this is important in the third section of this video where we actually talk about what cryptocurrency is and then whether it is an actual currency, uh, if putting money into cryptocurrency is an investment, or maybe why you should or should not invest in cryptocurrencies. All right, thanks for taking the time to watch this video. I really appreciate you taking this time out of your day. You really could have been doing anything. If you're not a current subscriber, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Hit that like button because you like this video and also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I create a video. Please stay tuned for part three where we get into what cryptocurrency is or whether or not it's something you should invest in.